Hi, and welcome back to the Food Fund, where we analyze investing in food stocks. If you love food and love buying food stocks, beverage stocks, and restaurant stocks, you will love this channel. In this video we will be exploring Gladstone Land Preferred Stock, which has some significant differences from the more typically traded Gladstone Land Common Stock. We will explain what a preferred stock is, how it compares with common stock, and how preferred stock can be a key asset in one's portfolio. Be sure to watch through the end of the video where I share my final thoughts. Before we get started, please super smash that like button and let YouTube know that you like our content. Subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you catch the latest videos. Your continued support is greatly appreciated. Now, cue the logo. So what is preferred stock? Preferred stock is a class of stock that is granted superior rights to common stock, like higher dividend payments and a higher claim to assets in the event of liquidation. In comparing and contrasting preferred stock and common stock, we find some similarities. Both represent equity ownership of a company and both are tradable. However, we also see a few key differences. First, preferred stockholders have first right to dividends and must be paid before common stockholders. They usually pay a greater dividend than the common stock, if the common stock even pays a dividend. Second, usually there is less share price volatility with preferred stocks versus common stocks but this also means that preferred stocks typically have less share price appreciation. Next, preferred stockholders have no voting rights but may be able to convert their preferred shares into common shares. Common stockholders typically have more voting rights but cannot convert into preferred shares. Last, preferred stocks sit below bonds and the capital structure but above common stock. That means that in the event of a liquidation of the business, bondholders get paid first, if at all, followed by preferred stockholders, with common stockholders being last. Preferred stocks can be thought of as a hybrid between common stocks and bonds as similar to bonds preferred stocks often are issued at the liquidation preference price and can often be repurchased by the issuing company at that price at some predetermined time in the future. Before we move on to exploring Gladstone Land's preferred stock there are some key terms we should explain. Cumulative, as it pertains to preferred stock, refers to the provision that if any dividend payments are missed, the dividend owed must be paid to cumulative preferred stockholders first. Callable or redeemable preferred stock refers to the provision that the issuers has the right to redeem or buy back the preferred share at a predetermined price set forth in the prospectus. The redeem price is typically the issuing price but read the prospectus carefully. Some redeemable preferred stocks allow a company to redeem shares at their discretion while others have a mandatory redeem date. Okay, so now that we know a bit about preferred stock, let's take a look at the preferred stock offered by Gladstone Land. Here we first see 6.00% Series B Cumulative Redeemable Preferred Stock, Liquidation Preference $25 per share, sold under ticker LNDO. As the name describes this is a preferred stock that pays 6% of the issuing and liquidation preference price of $25 per share as a monthly dividend of about $0.125. Because it is cumulative and redeemable, we as investors can expect Gladstone Land to make up any missed dividends and be able to buy our shares back. Let's dive into the prospectus to learn a bit more. Here we find a key date, as of the 1st of June. 2023 Gladstone Land stopped offering the Series B preferred stock. Also on the 1st of June, 2023 Gladstone Land was able to redeem or buy back these shares at a redemption price of $25 per share. Hopping back, we see that Gladstone also offers 6.00% Series C cumulative redeemable preferred stock, liquidation preference $25 per share, sold under ticker LNDP. I think of this as the next tranche of the cumulative redeemable preferred stock. This is also a preferred stock that pays 6% of the issuing and liquidation preference price of $25 per share as a monthly dividend of about $0.125. Again, we can expect Gladstone Land to make up any missed dividends and be able to buy our shares back. Looking at the prospectus we find some similarities to the Series B cumulative redeemable preferred stock. As of the 1st of June. 2025 Gladstone Land will stop offering the Series B preferred stock. However, on the 1st of June, 
2024 Gladstone Land will be able to redeem or buy back these shares at a redemption price of $25 per share. Last, we see 5.00% Series D cumulative term preferred stock, liquidation preference $25 per share, sold under the ticker LNDM. As the name describes this is a preferred stock that pays 5% of the issuing and liquidation preference price of $25 per share as a monthly dividend of about 10 cents. It is cumulative and redeemable but unlike the Series B and Series C offerings, Series D has a term by which all shares will be bought back by Gladstone Land. Let's look at the prospectus. Importantly, on the 31st of January, 2023 Gladstone Land was able to redeem or buy back these shares at a redemption price of $25 per share. However, there is mandatory redemption date of the 31st of January. 2026 by which all shares will be bought back by Gladstone Land. Preferred stock can be a great way to generate dividend income at a high rate. Gladstone Land Series B, Series C, and Series D preferred stocks have 6%, 6%, and 5% of dividends, respectively, compared to about a 4% dividend from Gladstone Land common stock. Given the higher dividend and lower volatility, preferred stock can be particularly attractive during down markets. However, in up markets common stock tends to outperform. Given the needs and time horizon for your portfolio, preferred stock may be a key addition. Be sure to do your own research. I hope this video has given you some food for thought. Many thanks for watching. What do you think of preferred stocks? Please share your thoughts below. It is always great to hear from you. Please check out some more videos right now and don't forget to put your money where your mouth is.